Depending on the camera we use, we may encounter an issue with Windows Movie Maker recognizing the file types. If we put footage on the computer, as we have a few sample videos for this example, and we have trouble finding them when Windows Movie Maker is launched, and we go to import them, don't lose any sleep. There is a very simple and free fix to the problem. Convert the files into a type that Windows Movie Maker prefers. If you haven't already installed any video converter, go back to the software installation chapter for instructions. For those of you who have it, let's roll. To begin, go to Start, then type Any Video Converter into the search box, and click on the Any Video Converter icon in the search results. Any Video Converter is a very straightforward program. Click on Add Files to add the videos to convert. In the Profile section, we can adjust the settings of the video type we are converting to, and simply click on Convert to begin the video conversion process. So, to begin, Click on Add Files at the top left of the program. This will open a window for finding the videos we want to convert. Click on Library, then Videos Library, then Let's Dabble, Raw Footage, and finally Sample Videos, where we'll find a few videos from my walk outside to get a little fresh air and away from the computer. Select any video, then press Ctrl-A on the keyboard to highlight them all, and click Open. Under the Profile section, select Video Files from the first drop-down menu, and from the second drop-down menu, select Customize WMV Movie. Now go to Video Options to tweak the final settings. Select the frame size, then click on the down arrow, and select 1280 x 720 from the options listed. Keep in mind that any video converter tells you the original size of the video file you are working with right here. So just maintain the file size you are working with, which in this case is 1280 x 720. The video bitrate. Simplified is the quality of the video. However, it changes the size of the final video file. So if hard drive space is not an issue, select the highest number possible. Now click Convert, and your videos will be converted to WMV versions that Windows Movie Maker is so fond of. When the conversion is complete, a dialog box will open that offers other products. If you'd like to learn more about the products any video converter offers, you can click Yes on this dialog box. However, for our purposes, we'll just click No Thanks. Now to locate the new video files, go to File, then Open Output Folder. These are our new videos. For ease of moving, we'll create a new folder on the desktop and label it WMV Versions because these are the newly created WMV versions of the original videos. Select any file, press Ctrl-A to select them all, and then drag them into the new folder. This leaves the output folder empty, which is nice because you'll never grab the wrong video files on accident. It will always have the most recently converted videos, but make sure to empty it when you're done converting so it stays empty and is easy to work with in the future. Click on the library icon and navigate to Videos Library, Let's Dabble, Raw Footage, and Sample Videos. Within this folder, we'll drag our WMV versions folder. Now we have both the original file types and the newly created WMV files within the raw footage folder. If hard drive space is an issue, you can delete the original videos and only keep the WMV versions. However, they are technically a copy of the original files. Therefore, I like to keep the originals should I ever need them. But if you want to delete them, it's no big loss. In the next video, we will inspect the video settings in Windows Movie Maker to make sure they match the videos we'll be working with.